Hey guys, welcome to another Lunch Hour Review. Today I'm going to try this Bistro Classics. This one is the meatloaf and potatoes. It is meatloaf um, topped with beef gravy and mashed potatoes. Um, it is 9, nine and 7 eighths ounce or 280 grams. Um, we bought this at Aldi. It was $3.25. Uh, Bistro Classics are sold at Aldi, but they're not made specifically for Aldi. So just to let you know. Let's see. They're... 300 calories for the meal, which isn't too awfully bad, I guess. And there's your other info for you. Um, the directions, they do have conventional oven directions. Of course, we don't do ovens, but there they are if you want them. So we're going to, um, these are frozen, of course. Remove the tray from the box, cut film to vent, cook for three and a half minutes, remove film, stir product, and recover, and then cook for an additional two and a half minutes. So we're going to do three and a half, stir it, and then two and a half. That's pretty long for, I guess the meat like the big old chunk. So, and they're separate. So when I stir this, I will definitely stir the mashed potatoes, but I will actually probably move that meatloaf around and take the gravy and make sure I put it on top of it. Um, and you can also see there's gravy been um, leaked into the mashed potatoes as well. So I'm going to um, actually just poke a couple holes in this and get it in the microwave and I'll be back. All right. So here it is out of the microwave and uh, you can see this is a big old hunk of meatloaf. I mean, it's, it's, Thick. Well, let me, I'm gonna cut it in half and see what it looks like. Yeah, not too bad. It looks like it has some celery in there. Yeah, cool. And then the mashed potatoes, I just wanna make sure I stir them up because the, the edges get really dry. You can see they're kind of they're kind of pasty and I will try them just like this, but more than likely, what I will do is take a couple of forkfuls of, uh, of the gravy and throw over here on top of them and stir them in. It helps thin them out a bit. But um, yeah, it looks kind of thick, but anyway. I'm going to take it over the table, let it cool off for a minute, try it out. All right, thought I would try the mashed potatoes first. I also cut the meatloaf into smaller pieces just so it'll cool off faster. So meatloaf first. Flavor's not bad. It's got a little seasoning to it. Not like a spicy or anything like that, but it does have some, um, some flavor to it beyond potatoes. It could be that a little bit of that gravy got in there, which it did, um, making it more seasoned, but I think it actually has something in there. Um, it doesn't mention anything in here, just says mashed potatoes, but it seems like it has some seasoning in there. Let me dip it in some gravy. Mm. That definitely adds a lot to it. So I'm gonna take some of this gravy. I've got a fork, so it's kind of hard to do. And scoop it up and stir it in a little bit and it'll thin out the mashed potatoes a little bit. They are a little pasty, not as bad as I, not as bad and thick and, and sticky as I thought they were going to be, but they are a little, um, a little thick and pasty. Not, not bad though. Better when they have the gravy, definitely. This, it adds a little bit more flavor to them. Um, not bad. The potatoes are kind of a basic mashed potato. They, um, again, they're kind of thick uh, and sticky and pasty, but um, they're not as bad as some I've seen. Some I've seen are so dry and sticky that you can't hardly eat them. This is not like that. Or dried out. They really dried out around the edges where they were, they were almost burnt. Um, I've seen those too. Uh, this one's not bad. I like it too. Now, it may have tons of salt in there, but the mashed potatoes don't come across as really salty and sometimes they like to put a lot of salt in there to make them taste good. Um, this doesn't seem that way. And like I said, they may have a lot of salt in there. It's just not coming across as salty. So that's good. Um, uh, meatloaf, like I said, it's a big hunk of meatloaf. I mean, that's towards the end and it's that big. So it's a, it's a pretty good size, um, meatloaf. Good textures. I really like the texture of the meatloaf itself. It's, uh, they didn't fill it full of a lot of fillers or anything like that. It is a little bit um, dense, which most meatloaf is. It's honestly, it's dense like a meatloaf should be, not dense like um, like Salisbury steak. is really, they've really packed it in. It's really dense and really close. And it's almost, uh, almost rubbery kind of textured. You know, the really dense ones. Uh, this is not like that. This is actually has a, a really nice texture to it. You can tell it's processed for sure. Um, I mean, it is meatloaf. So meatloaf is ground beef with stuff in it. Um, that's what this is too. I think I used an okay cut of meat. Um, so the beef is not really cheap or fatty. 
Um, not bad. I like the gravy. Again, they didn't put, they didn't try to cover up the meatloaf flavor with a bunch of uh, really strong like seasonings or spices or saltiness or anything like that. Um, again, I'm sure it's way saltier than you probably should ever have in your life. Um, no, it's not too bad. 790 milligrams, which is still high, but but um, that's 34% uh, of your daily intake. But it's, um, I've seen some of these meals like meatloaves and stuff, they're in the thousands. And this one's not like that. I can even tell. You can tell by the flavor of the gravy and the meatloaf. It's it's not like that. I think this is a really good meal. I've um, I've had this brand before, the Bistro Classics, where I didn't like it really at all. Um, matter of fact, I'm pretty sure one of these made it in a hate file at one time. Uh, this one is actually pretty good. This one, if you get the meatloaf one, it's actually it has a nice flavor to it. It's a good quality meal. Um, the thing about Aldi is you can never guarantee they're going to have a meal all the time. So while they had these when I went, um, you can go a week later and they'll be gone and you won't see them again for another six months to a year, you know? So it's one of those things that's kind of hit and miss. So um, if you do happen to see them and it sounds interesting to you, try it out. I think you'll like it. I'm going to give it a four out of five. Um, for me, I could have used a little bit more of like a, a richer like seasoning, like especially the mashed potatoes. They could have put some garlic in there or something like that. But uh, but I think it's good for what it is and the price. Um, yeah, three twenty-five, not bad at all. So yeah, four out of five for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.